John Watson Allison here from Motion to Mind. I thought I'd quickly talk to you about emotional states and energy and things we can do to generate energy, <clears throat> things we can do to discharge energy. And this is really important because quite often, for example, we can feel a little bit low, a little bit blue, we can feel a little bit down and low in energy. And the key point here is that we have to find a way of generating energy. And of course, sometimes we reach for that energy drink and we use artificial means to generate energy. But today, this morning, I'm out, out for a little stroll, a bracing morning, but nevertheless, it's beautiful. And I'm out generating energy to prepare myself for the day ahead. And of course, we can do things like use music. We can use music to, and dancing to help us to generate energy. Things that we really enjoy and things that really make us happy. I want to talk about quickly, sometimes we feel wired. We feel anxious. And that often suggests that we've mobilized energy in response to a perceived threat or a stressor. Now that perceived threat or stressor may be real or simply imagined but our body and our physiology will react the same way and it will prepare us <clears throat> to physically fight or run away but the key thing is that we've mobilized energy in response to a, a threat real or imagined and it's important that we discharge that energy otherwise it will sit with us all day and cause further anxiety further stress. So how do we discharge energy? Well, it's important to, again to consider things like movement, tension release exercises, but getting out, doing something, physically moving is really, really important because it will help you to discharge that stress response, to discharge that mobilized energy that you, char that you mobilize in response to a, a perceived stressor, real or imagined. So to summarize then, if you're feeling low, a little bit blue, a little bit down, it often suggests it's a signpost telling you that you need to, to generate energy, to mobilize energy. And just consider in the past, the things that you've done, the activities you've done before that make you feel energized. And put those into action. Rather than reaching for that <coughs> can of Red Bull or the can of energy drink, for example, Put on your favorite music, have a little boogie in the house, or just simply get out and move. I appreciate it's not easy for everybody, but movement can be something as simple as getting a one liter bottle of water out of the fridge and doing some weight work with it. It doesn't have to be expensive. It's free in many cases. And then just consider if you've mobilized energy in response to a, a perceived threat or a stressor, then get out and move. I'll make some attempt to discharge the energy and that will prepare you well for the rest of your day. Take care and keep safe.